Events A and B are independent. So the probability of A occurring is 0, 0,4 and the probability of B occurring is 0, 0,25. Represent the given information on a Venn diagram. Indicate on the Venn diagram the probabilities associated with each region. So let's draw up this Venn diagram. Just two circles here because we only have two events, A and B. Okay, don't forget to draw this rectangle. You must draw it. It's part of the format of a Venn diagram. A and B. That's event A and that's event B. Oopsie. So the events are independent, which means that to get their intersection, we find the product of both events. The product, 0, 0,4 times 0, 0,25. So the probability of A occurring times the probability of B occurring would give us 0, 0,1. And that is going to be the intersection. And the probability of A is 0, 0,4. So 0, 0,4 minus 0, 0,1 gives us 0, 0,3. The probability of B occurring is 0, 0,25 minus 0, 0,1. Oopsie. And that would give us 0, 0,15. Okay. So 0, 0,3 plus 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,15. That is going to give us 0, 0,55. What happens to the other 0, 0,45? Because the probability of anything occurring is always a maximum of 1 or 100%. Well, that is the probability of it not occurring, and that is going to be outside the circle, 0, 0,45, the other 45%. Okay, that's 11.1.1. .1. Let us take a look at now 11.1.2. Determine the probability of A occurring and not B. Well, from the Venn diagram alone, we can see that the probability of A occurring could be the 0, 0,3, the 0, 0,1, or the 0, 0,45. So we simply add all three figures together, so 0, 0,3 plus 0, 0,1 plus 0, 0,45, and the answer is going to be 0, 0,85. We can include the intersection, but we cannot include that portion of B, not B. But the 0, 0,1 does form part of A. Okay, and that's it for question 11, a nice little Venn diagram question.